All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. So I want to find the value of 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 1. Now, 1, I can rewrite as 1 squared because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And the reason I put this in this form is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10 and b is equal to 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 10 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 plus 5, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 32 times 32. And 32 times 32 is 1,024. So I get 1,024 plus 1 times 1,024 minus 1. Now 1,024 plus 1 is 1,025. And 1,024 minus 1 is 1,023. So now I have 1,025 times 1,023. And to solve this, or to multiply these two, I'm not just going to do it using the basic multiplication method because this takes way too long. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 1,000 plus 25 times 1,000 plus 23. And now I can distribute my 1,000. So I get 1,000 squared plus 23 times 1,000. And now I can distribute 25. So I get 25 times 1,000 plus 25 times 23. Now 1,000 squared is equal to 1 million. So I have 1 million plus 23,000 plus 25,000 plus 25 times 23, which is 575. So now from here, 23,000 plus 25,000 is 48,000, and 48,000 plus 575 is 48,575, and that plus 1 million is 1,048,575. So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be solving the equation 36 to the power of x is equal to three over x. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. So my equation is 36 to the power of x is equal to three to three over x. And what I'm first gonna do is take the power of three over x on both sides. So now I have 36 to the power of x to the power of three over x is equal to three over x to the power of three over x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m 
to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 36 to the power of x to the power of 3 over x is going to equal 36 to the power of x times 3 over x. And this is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. So then now these two x's cancel out and I get 36 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And now from here, I can rewrite 36 as 6 squared. So I get 6 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 is going to equal 6 to the power of 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 over x to the power of 3 over x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, 6 is going to equal 3 over x. And I can solve this by using proportions. So 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. So I get 6 over 1 is equal to 3, 3 over x. And now I can cross multiply. 6 times x is 6x, and 1 times 3 is 3, so I get 6x equals 3. And now if I divide both sides by 6, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 3 over 6, which simplifies to 1 half. So I get x is equal to 1 half. So now, from here... To check, my equation was 36 to the power of x is equal to 3 over x. So x equals 1 half, so I get 36 to the power of 1 half is equal to 3 over 1 half, which is equal to, turns into 6 is equal to 6.